Good morning. Now today we're going to be showing you guys cow number 1360 and she has a bit of an issue in her back right hoof and we're going to show you guys exactly what we do to fix this and what we can do to stop this happening. We're going to talk to you a little bit about mobility scoring. Let's go. Let's get this hoof washed off and now let's get into the trim and as I'm sure a few of you might just be able to make out there is some faint trim marks just here in this hoof where this cow has obviously been trimmed. She came up that she was trimmed two months ago so this cow has had a routine trim and this is now a bit of a stress issue so you can sort of see on the beginning of this trim there is a couple faint little black marks and now you're about to see just how much these black marks run into an issue. Now this is stress on the white line and the stress on the white line from turning, from fighting with for food, for excess sanding time, which this farm would not have, but that is one cause that can cause white line. These cows just get these little breaks between the white line and the sole wall. And this is what is causing this issue right here. So we've roughed the hoof off, we are putting a little bit of heat in this and now we're just making sure that this block is about the right size for this hoof. We're going to hoof grip pro on a block and then we're going to get to finishing off this trim. So we're just gonna trim away a large amount of this excess height. Now, the theory with this is we want to limit the amount of damage done to this hoof, even if this block comes off. So if it doesn't stay on, I know that I've given this cow enough clearance of this damaged infected horn so that even without a block, she will heal up. But we're just now investigating to work out exactly where this issue runs to if it runs any further than this and just how far this is going now because i haven't found any infection i'm pretty confident at this moment that it will run all the way to the top of the hoof back of the heel bulb as you're about to see it's not going to go that far This infection is gone deep into this hoof, so I need to make sure that I'm clearing all of the excess dead horn away. You guys know the drill. We need this hoof to heal up. <laughs> 
as quickly as possible. This cow is milking anything up to 12, 13, potentially 14,000 liters in a lactation. And we want this girl to be as comfortable as possible. So we will keep spraying this hoof, keep cleaning it out to make sure we are not missing anything when we're removing all this painful, delicate horn. So we are now just balancing the hoof just that little bit better. There is a little bit of pith down on the inside of this hoof, so I'm just making sure this hoof is as balanced as it can be before we send this girl on her way and see her walk. windy out there for me to be able to talk you guys through what happened with that cow so she actually walked out really quite nice she'd been picked up on a mobility scoring so let me show you guys what I mean by mobility scoring I'm gonna jump in on the AHDB website and show you how we mobility score so when we mobility score we rank them on a scale of zero to three so mobility scoring is pretty deceptive cow number one this one we're watching she's got an arch back She's clearly tender on that back left hoof. So we would score that a score three. She needs seeing urgently. The second cow, she's slightly tender. Drop a comment down below if you think you know what hoof she's tender on. I would score her a score two because of the way she's walking. What we're looking for is the lame feet. So with all these cows on this farm, their mobility scored every single month. They look at these cows walk, they get them up out of their beds because they're robots, they walk and they're checked. So what we're trying to do is eliminate all score threes, always gonna get score twos, but we're trying to minimalize the amount of lameness we're doing. We wanna see these cows scored no more than 2% of 500 cows lame at any one point. That is what we should all be aiming for. That's what we're aiming for, especially on this farm. We want zero percent. So that's a little example of mobility scoring. So as you guys can see, mobility scoring is it's pretty simple. All we're doing is watch cows walk. Now, this cow probably wouldn't have been picked up if it wasn't for mobility scoring. She would have been picked out on a routine trim, which she wasn't due for another couple of months. That could have got way, way worse. So yeah, she is very fortunate that we do mobility score here. If you guys want to see a recheck of that cow, drop a comment, let me know. Do not forget, smash that subscribe button, and we will see you guys next week. Cheers, guys.